I'm gonna start this video by saying something controversial. This might get me in trouble with a lot of people, but Fallout 3 is better than Fallout New Vegas. I said it. I said it. I know. Strap in. Did you bring your coffee? Do you guys have coffee for this? It's early for me, so I have my coffee again. This is why. This quest. Right here. I actually teleported myself, so I don't even know if it's gonna work. I haven't tested this at all. <laughs> I got out of the vault at level one and just teleported myself here. Is there anything I have to fight in here? Because I'm level one. So this is the quest where you get your dad back and it involves you playing as a 12 year old boy. I remember there's a rolling pin and I remember fighting a lot of people. So let's see if this works. I also remember it being kind of creepy, but I do remember this being probably the best quest in Fallout history. And this cemented Fallout 3 is the greatest Fallout game of all time for me. Yes. All right, we're in. Prepare for assimilation. I'm so excited. That actually worked much easier than I thought it would. Ah, ah, see, Sonny, welcome to your life. I forgot how awkward the children in this game look. Hey there, sport. Beautiful day, isn't it? You should go talk to Betty. She's waiting for you over on the playground. How do you know she's waiting for me? You don't know me. What can I do for you, sport? What you can do for me is fuck off, George. This is what, some kind of computer simulation? Sounds like you've been spending too much time with your nose and those darned comic books, sport. Okay, first off, is he calling me a weeb? Now I know that the dog is my dad. Take a hike, mutt. <laughs> Get out of here. All right, I wanna go explore the town. I wanna see what I can do in this town before actually getting into the mission. Is that so? Well, you ought to tell that to my big toe. I just showed up in their town and I'm immediately insulting the life that they live. I, I think the people here know that it's a simulation. Do they just pretend that it's not? Hi there, I'm Timmy. Wanna play? I hate you. Don't really remember this kid a lot, but just on his voice, I hate you. None of this is real, Timmy. What? You're weird. What the fuck did you just say to me? Is that really necessary? Quit. Yeah, it's necessary. He's talking shit. Stop, that hurts. I've dealt with mud craters like you before. All right, all right, I yield. I yield, Timmy. Timmy, I yield, calm down. Yo, Dad, help me out, man. Can we play now? Yes, I, I, I'm down to help you out, but I got this guy chasing me around. It's psycho Timmy. Let's play a fun game. Oh, yeah, I'm down, I'm down. I love a fun game, but first, coffee. All you have to do is make Timmy Newsbum cry. Ah, uh. oh, damn it. I gotta get away from him. Oh, God, everyone's afraid of me. You up. Timmy. <laughs> everyone is everyone is afraid of the menace, Timmy. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna reload my save. We'll go back here and we'll restart it. All right, there you go. See, Timmy, now we're on the same side. Okay, I gotta make him cry. I think there's multiple ways to do it. Timmy, what are you doing back here, you old lad? Hi, wanna play? No. Hey, I heard your parents are getting a divorce because of you. What? Did I do something bad? <laughs> They've never loved you. In fact, they both hate you and wish you were dead. <laughs> Yep. It's better you accept the reality that you live in now, Timmy. All right, mission accomplished. <laughs> I kind of want to go back and make Timmy cry in a much worse way. Military school? <laughs> That's almost funnier. Hey, your parents are shipping you away, Timmy. Oh shit, he found me. Oh no, 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 Timmy, you can't be tracking me in here. You don't belong here. It's not real. None of it. Thank God this isn't like oblivion because I would have actually gotten really scared there if they just popped up. It would have gone all the way into her face. Get away from me, you crazy old bat. I like it here. Have you ever seen a more punchable face? Just look at him. Look at him. That stupid hair. Tucked in t-shirt. Hiya. Stop saying that. Hiya. 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 Hi. Wanna play? I don't. I don't. What? No, I'm not. Look, I got the brochure right here, Timmy. You're going to military school. But I don't want to go away. <laughs> I don't want to leave my mommy. I'm done oh. making him cry. Dude, George, you got to get away from me, man. It's really creeping me out. Wait, is there going to be a follow-up? Is he going to cry more? No! <laughs> no. <laughs> if you had a coffee, you'd probably feel a lot better. <laughs> He's not even no. speaking words. That's the, This is the conversation they're having. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she looks absolutely miserable. Pat, I don't blame you for sending this fuck out of way to military school. I gotta get out of this house. He's just, it's nonstop wailing. Neighbors are gonna call the cops. Okay, I need to actually make progress. Yay, you did it. Good 
job. All right, so we got to end the Rockwell's marriage. Damn, Martha, you bad. Good day to you. Why are you asking me? People around here should mind their own business. Hey, if the if the husband Rockwell, if that's what he's getting after, I'm not saying it's ethical. All right, I'm just saying I understand. Well, hi there. Hi, Roger. <laughs> just, that's so strange. A small child comes into your house. Anything you want to tell me about your marriage? Now, see here. That's not <laughs> anything for you to be asking about. Our marriage is our business, and it's private. Fine. Jesus, Roger. Let's we'll see what the wife has to say. Good day. Hi, Janet. You know, Janet, you look suspiciously like the woman that your husband is banging. Anything you want to tell me about your marriage? That's so strange. I just asked the husband this five feet away from her. There's no way she didn't hear it. Goodness. What kind of a question is that? <laughs> this is why I love this game. The responses actually make sense. Oh, her diary. I just don't know what to do anymore. When Roger's not in that stupid basement, he's outside sweet talking that hussy, Martha Simpson. He claims there's nothing between them, but I know it's all a lie. I found a woman's pendant once. On Roger's workbench, of course. I said nothing. That's me. Janet Rockwell. Prim and proper housewife. Living a perfect life here in Tranquility Lane. Some days I wish I really had beat her to death with that rolling pin. Then Roger would know I'm the only girl in the- Oh my god, she's insane. I think I did a pretty good job. How was my, uh, how, how was my reading there? Rate me. One out of ten. How'd I do? Are there any other solutions to this? Where's Martha? Someone's here. Oh, I was just looking at the new Robco catalog. Shh. Some impressive things they're doing these days. Well, hi there. Hi, Mabel. Well, they're just so nice, aren't they? It's good the two of them worked everything out. So they have had issues, although I guess I could gather that from the uh, death wish that the wife has for the husband right now. Janet thought there was something going on with Roger and Martha Simpson. Hey, maybe you should mind your own business as I'm prying around their house, going through their rooms, reading her notebook. Why, I never... <laughs> You're the one who asked me about it, you little brat. <laughs> oh my god, I love this game. Dude, Martha is so bad, Hello. though. She's so bad. Have you seen the new Robco catalog? Wait, they just talked about the Robco catalog. I don't even really want the one I have now. I don't trust it, Martha. Not a bit. Really, Mabel? It's fine. Yeah, okay, that's about as oblivion as it can get. Okay, so now that I have her hot underwear, why are, why is there so much popping? How low are my graphics settings? Hold on, I think I have my graphics on like low. What the hell? Come on, I'm I'm a gamer. I have a gaming PC. I drink coffee. Hiya, kiddo. What's the good word? Hey, Bill. I wonder what Bill has to say about the marriage, though. Bill seems like an honest guy, so we'll gauge his uh, we'll gauge what he thinks about the marriage. Now, what's a kid like you want to know about? That? Why is everyone so concerned? I've grown up stuff to be worried about, don't you think? Haven't heard them fight in a long time. <laughs> Hey, you seem too young to be knowing about this, but uh, let me give you the lowdown on the situation anyway. And where should I put this hot underwear? Sexy, hot woman underwear. First, gonna drink out of their toilet, <laughs> like a normal human child. All right, I'm glad you two are sitting here. I have returned. <laughs> let's, let's discuss things. Damn it, there has to be something I can do. I can't talk to them. I don't want to just convince them. I feel like that's the lame way to do it. Maybe I have to put her underwear in the workbench. I've gone down to their basement in front of them multiple times now, and now I'm all of a sudden, hey, you gotta come down there. You gotta see this. What were you doing in our basement? They're just trusting this small child with everything. Well, hi there. Hey, Roger, just want to let you know you are absolutely screwed. Now, Janet, I'm gonna need you to prepare yourself. Women's clothing? Down here? What? In your house? What is this doing here? <laughs> Maybe it's his. <laughs> oh my God. Roger. That's right, he's not cheating on you. Even worse, he's wearing women's lingerie. Which is totally fine. If that's his preference, he can absolutely do that. Get him, Janet. You know what I'm talking about. Get him, Janet. You spent all that time down in the basement, and I never questioned it. What's wrong with being in the basement? What's wrong with being in the basement? Wrong with being in the basement? Being in the basement. He's a basement loser. You just he's actually a basement loser. Stay away from me. It's all right, Roger. Hey, look, man. Just... Put on a ball game on the old television, and let's just chat like men. How did it come to this? I just don't understand. Well, maybe you shouldn't have been banging Martha Simpson. Although, I don't blame you. She is bad. She is bad. I mean, I... I, I come on. Hello. Look at... Look at Martha! Come on, of all the... I like, I, now, I know it's strange, because all the Fallout models are weird. But, hey, I was looking at Martha, Janet. 
Mabel? I was just looking at the new Robco catalog. Why are they always talking about the Robco catalog? It's the only conversation they know to have. The only significant news that ever happens in this neighborhood are slight changes to the Robco catalog. I'd like you to kill Mabel Henderson. Hello? How are you today? Sure is a beautiful day. Okay, now that is oblivion. Bye. That was oblivion Hello? right there. That was oblivion conversation 100%. Well, hi there. What can you tell me about the neighborhood? Well, there's certainly never a dull moment. Always something to see and always something to talk about. Yeah, Ray, like the Robco catalog. <laughs> I love the little tune that plays. Nothing like the smell of the Robco catalog. <laughs> Dude, this guy's easily the biggest flex in town. He works at Robco. <laughs> Is she going home? Oh, I think she's going home. Perfect. She'll never see us coming. It's just, just small child. What do you think you're doing? What, uh, nothing, nothing, dear. I promise. I'm only doing ethical things, and I do not plan on killing you at all. All right, we got to get there before she gets to the oven. Hey, <laughs> you'll never see it coming. Don't sit down. Please don't sit. Oh, God, she sat down. The ultimate stakeout. I've been waiting here for like five minutes. Oh, my God, she's stuck on the freaking chair. Mabel, <laughs> I need you to move around the chair. I've been waiting so long for her to... Oh, there it goes. Is it really not going to work? Oh, the very least she could do is go upstairs, and here's what we're going to do. If the oven doesn't want to work, we're just going to do all of them at the same time. You better run. Oh, Jesus. Do you people do anything in this town besides sit down in chairs and talk about the Robco freaking catalog? Oh, there she goes. She's running away. Oh, we missed it. We missed the money shot. All right, hopefully nobody heard this. <laughs> just a small child burnt to a crisp. Well, that wasn't nearly as entertaining of an ending as I thought it would be. Don the mask and become the pint-sized slasher. Sounds like fun. <laughs> okay, so now I have to just murder everybody in the town. When I when I think of Fallout, this is the quest that I think of. I don't think that there is a better quest in Fallout history than this one. If there is, like the video and leave a comment on which one is your favorite. I don't want to kill my man. I don't want to kill my man, Bill. Good day. See, he's such a nice guy. And, in case you didn't know, he works at Robco. Hell yeah, Mabel. <laughs> Mabel says good riddance. Wait, I just killed your wife, dude. Are you in the least upset? Hey there, sport. How's it going? <laughs> I just killed his wife. Hey, sport. Nice job. You seem like a hardworking fella. Take care now. You take care too, George. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sorry, Janet. I'm really sorry. Oh, God. Timmy's going to come back to a nightmare at his lemonade stand. You know, they should make a Dennis the Menace style horror movie like this. You cannot simply wander around killing the residents of Tranquility Lane. Got it. Finally. Time to do what I came here for. Cower away from me all you want, Bill. Your Robco catalog can't save you now. He's running to get Robco assistance. He's just going to start launching Robco catalogs at me. Why would you come down here? This is like the scariest place to get murdered. Calm down, calm down. Is that really necessary? It... Look, Bill, I don't want to. I like you. But yes, it is. Now die. I feel really bad. I feel like he was eventually going to give me one of his Robco catalogs. I gotta stop using that joke. The whole video is just going to be me talking about Robco catalogs. I'm going to put a Robco catalog in the thumbnail. Why not? And another one down, and another one down. Ah! Old Lady Dithers bites the dust. Is that all of them? No, please. Oh, that's right. Where's Timmy? Where's Timmy? <laughs> Where is he, damn it? No! Oh! What a play. What a, what a slice. Timmy? Timmy, where are you? Your mother wants to say hi. It's the pipe. It's who? Wait, Janet. Speak up. Can you speak up, Janet? I can't quite hear you. <laughs> she died in such a... Look at that face. <laughs> like, she was kind of excited to see me in a way. She just wanted my autograph. I haven't felt this exhilarated in years. Honestly, I haven't either. I'm just going to live out the rest of my days here. Now, I have no interest in continuing the story any further. Because <laughs> as soon as we step out the door, we're done there. If I missed any, like, Easter eggs or something, let me know in the comments. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. That's going to be it for this one. Uh, this is literally one of my favorite quests I remember replaying this multiple times when I was 15 years old when we when I first started playing this game. I think it was about 14 or 15 when Fallout 3 came out. I remember playing it going, this is the greatest game I've ever played. If there's any other quests you want me to check out from Fallout 3, let me know. Probably going to start doing a little bit more Fallout stuff, maybe. 
We'll see. I do love Fallout 3, special place in my heart. But that's going to be it for me today, guys. Hope you guys appreciate the video, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you to Patreons Luke Kavara, Jack the Black, Gamer Guy Scorch, Jordan Hart, Hammock Therapy, Arkham, and Pangy. Just a little quick update for you guys. No live streams this week on Twitch. Sorry about that. I'm actually out of town, and I got this video done on the Sunday before I left, recorded and edited in one go. So, yeah, I'm pretty freaking sick. Anyway, guys, appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one.